Hey, it's me again. Um, bring you another video, I'm trying to convince you why you should uh, play traditional Chinese musical instruments. Um, so this time I got. Uh, I want to show you um, the Dietz. Um, it's spelled D-I-Z-I, -I, but in Chinese they it's pronounced Dietz. Um, are pretty much your your flute, um, uh, commonly called the bamboo flute, um, as a general term for um, the flutes. Uh, so it's called a deets. Um, every culture has their flutes. Uh, it's got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, eleven or so holes. Six of them that you actually use, and you know, has a um, mouth hole and some auxiliary holes. Um, one unique thing about the deets and that um, differentiates it from other flutes is that it has a membrane hole um, called a mokong um, and you can put different material over the hole to alter the sound. So right now I have um, painter's tape over there which is like a thicker type of tape and so the sound is a little more smooth um, but if you put the, uh, the rice paper that's commonly used um, in, the, in the traditional way um, you get it kind of like a buzzy sound um, you can hear it here it can make that sound so it's a versatile instrument uh, in that way um, also uh, they come in different sizes so unlike uh, the pipa or the arhu the deets isn't fully chromatic it's particular to a um, to a key, uh, so this one is a key um, in the key of D. So it can only play really much in the key of D. Um, so a professional will probably have flutes that go in all the different types of keys, um, and they come in different sizes as well. So normally uh, the F, G, and um, C flutes, this is a C, are bigger, and the ones in like A, D, E are usually smaller um, and they have I think maybe five different sizes um, like this is called a, a, a Chudi um, this one is also a Chudi size um, they get smaller though one of the smaller ones is a Bang D and Chow D is like a little tiny one um, that's the Deeds um, another type of bamboo flute called the Xiao is an inblown flute so these are transverse and this one is inblown so it's played like this um, it has a much uh, lower tone than than the deets but similarly it also comes in only one key um, one key per flute uh, this one is in the key of G um, and it's longer but I find it easier to play because uh, normally the recommendation is that um, beginners uh, start with the um, the longer flutes um, because you need to have more experience um, with the embouchure with the shorter flutes to get the type of sound that you need um, so lots of different ways lots of different keys you can get uh, in terms of flutes um, and relatively cheap um, I got this one with my Arhu but it was around $27 um, I got this one free um, and this one was on the more expensive side, eighty dollars. Um, but I probably won't be buying any more flutes uh, for now. Um, so as far as difficulty, they're a fairly difficult instrument. I find the shout to play uh, easier um, than the than the Deets flutes. Um, uh, one caveat: uh, if it's cold in your house. Um, Heat the blow blow in the flute a few times to heat it up, and then let it sit and get up to room temperature so the wood can expand. Because if you start playing, start practicing into a cold contracted flute, um, you'll get cracks. And I found that out the hard way. So I have like little little cracks along the flute. I don't have too many of them, but they have uh, kind of altered the sound a little bit. So I'm gonna have to fix this with some wood glue. Um, but that's if you decide to get a flute. So, all right. Thanks for watching.